welcome to today's tutorial and today I will be showing you how you can create this open book mockup in Adobe Photoshop. So as you can see that I have wrapped my this image around one of the blank pages of an open book. So it's quite easy to make and without further ado, let's begin right away. All right. So this is how you want your final result to look like. Okay. So I've already saved it in a PSD file over here and I have the same image opened up that I want to use. Okay. So you can find similar images in Google, but in case if you want to use the same image that I am using, you can find this image very easily in this website called the unsplash.com where you can download all these high resolution images for free and all these images can be used for mock-up basis and it does not have any copyright image uh, copyrights as well so you open up an image like this okay so now what I want to do is that I want one image over here at the blank page over here, right? So for that, I will be using my rectangle tool, okay? And I will be changing my fill over here to red. Temporarily, I'm just going to change it to red. And I'm just going to make one rectangle like that, okay? So we've got this. I'm just going to place it over here in the middle. So over here in this layers panel, we will be making some changes, okay? So right click on your layer and first convert this into a smart object, okay? So once that's done, you click on control plus T, okay? And by doing that, click and hold on to the control option in your keyboard and then just drag your mouse like this, okay? Onto the edges of your book like this. Okay, so if you want, you can cover the entire page like as I am doing or if you want, you can make a rectangle of this size which is which has a certain border left all around the sides like this. Okay, so I'm going to show you again. I'm going to do it a little bit differently this time. So in my, in the one that I just showed you. That is like covering only a portion of the page. But this, but this time, what if I want to like cover the entire page like that? Okay. So you adjust this approximately like this. Okay. So as you can see, it even though we have got it quite accurately to about 90%, it's not looking really realistic at all. Right. So I'm going to zoom in so that you can see better. So what I'm talking about is that, you know, this curve, uh, this book page has a certain curve over here and even at the edge over here as well, right? So you can see there's a certain curve that we need to actually follow. And to make it look a little bit more realistic, we need to wrap the rectangle around, right? So what I will be doing is that I'll be clicking on Control plus T again so that this entire rectangle gets selected. Right click on your rectangle and select this option over here which says warp okay so by doing that your shape or your rectangle shape will be selected like this and then just carefully adjust your shape like this according to the page of your open book like that okay so you can get it as accurately as possible, right? It's going to be, it's, this is not completely straight. This is at a slight angle over here like that. Okay. So we've got this and yeah, so now we are good to go, right? So for example, we have got our book page over here and now we can go ahead and add the image of our choice in this rectangle right so coming over here to your layers panel you see this icon over here which is showing the red rectangle right double click on this right because when you do that your rectangle shape will be opened up in a 
another document like this. Okay. So over here, this is the rectangle where we want to add our image. So the image can be anything of your choice. Okay. So any random image. Okay. So it can be of yourself or it can be of a nature or like it can like basically anything. I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to open up one of the random images from my image gallery that I have saved. So for example, I open up this blue watercolor image over here. Right. So I need to now copy this image onto this rectangle over here. Right. So coming back here, I'm going to first unlock my layer and I'm going to click on control plus A so that this entire image gets selected and Come over here to the edit panel and select cop uh, copy merged. This option over here. Okay. Come back to your rectangle panel over here and click on control plus V to paste. So now we can close this image as well since we do not need it. So click on control plus T to transform. And I'm going to rotate this like this. And I'm just going to make this bigger like this and you know adjust this a little bit like this. Okay. So we've got our image over here inside our rectangle that we needed. So now you go to file and click on save. Okay. When you do that. And if you come back over here to your document over here, you can see that the image gets wrapped around a rectangle like this. Okay. Since you've got it, but there is one small problem. You see that uh, like over here in my page, there is one leaf, but it's actually hiding underneath the rectangle over here. So we need to remove that. Okay. We need to remove a certain portion of a rectangle. So I'm going to close this as well and we just have this. So to remove the certain portion, all you have to do is add a clip mask. Sorry, not clip mask, layer mask. And we get this layer mask over here and I will be choosing my brush tool. Okay. And I've decreased the size to my of my brush to be about 40, uh, 40 pixels and my hardness is about 100%. Okay. Now, since I want to remove it, I will be making sure that my foreground color is black because what black color will do is going to delete. It's going to remove whereas white does the opposite. Okay. So make sure that you are in your layer mask over here and very carefully like you know just remove a certain portion like this. Okay. So in case if you have removed, some, removed an access of your image it's okay. We can now switch this back and carefully just paint it around the leaf like this. Okay. So be a little bit careful around the edges so that, you know, it looks a little bit realistic like this. Okay. And there you go. We have now successfully added our image onto this book page right here. So now this is completely optional. If you want, you can let it stay the way it is. But if you want to make some change, more further changes on this as well, you can also decrease the opacity from 100% to probably 40% or 50% like that. Okay. So there you go. We have now successfully created this open book mockup in Adobe Photoshop. So now that we have come to the end of our tutorial, I hope you found this video to be useful and with a little practice, you can create more such kinds of mockups in Adobe Photoshop. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.